And here we are uh, back in the wagon with me, Richard O'Neill, storyteller and author. And I said that I was going to read The Beatbox Kid for you. A piece inspired by me seeing people doing beatboxing, uh, again being very lyrical, but making their own sounds without proper instruments, people might say. Um, but they tell me that the voice is the greatest instrument of them all, so I think uh, it will, we'll, we'll see. I, I, I believe that, actually. This is the beatbox kid. The sun rose and the birds sang and the church bells rang as the countryside sprang into life and the lone tractor chugged slowly through the fields. The animals made noises and the wind blew through the trees, making the leaves whistle and swish, and Ash made a wish to stay here forever, listening to this. The sea in the distance blue and green with promises of far-off lands unseen. Ash was happy in these fields of green and fresh food for tea. Copying and rejoicing in the sounds heard from nature, beast and bird, unaware of the trouble at home, unheard. All in the space of a day, job gone, caravan reclaimed, off to the city to look for work and a place to stay. No more fields or familiar sounds, instead a wall of noise and a sea of people, an air so thick you could cut it, all weighing heavy inside Asher's head. No caravans. Instead, flats stacked top on top on top, reaching high into the sky to stop the overwhelming feeling of dread. You try to collect all the new noises and in order and shape and try to make some kind of sense of them inside your head. The school was big, daunting and cold and made of steel and glass and Ash was the only one of her kind in the class. Walking back home, head down a foggy, damp day, keeping out of people's way, when the man from a flat across the hall asked, How are you liking it round here? Ash pretended not to hear. What about the sounds in your head? The man said. It took the courage to go to the community centre, another daunting place where the man was the only friendly face. A girl picked up the mic and spat out her words and sounds so aggressive and sweet. No instruments backing her, just her own vocal beat. The man and the girl taught Ash how to get the noises out of your head and make them happen in the real world instead. The girl took Ash out to the shops and streets gathering new sounds and beats. Ash from the country practiced hard and learned from the city girl and moved closer into her new real world. Ash took the noise and made new sounds with new friends. They mixed and matched and stretched and flexed and patched and blended and melded and created music that went way beyond themselves. Part of a crew of this new community being able to be as free as the beats, the rhythm, the key, a sense of belonging, the new sounds setting Ash free. The sounds that we hear and hold very dear are even better when we let them out to be ourselves and conquer our fear.